Give me one. Hi, baby dolls. I'm Mrs. Barbie. I'm home. I'm back to home finally. Did you miss me? I missed you guys a lot. I'm so sorry. I was gone for like a couple weeks, more than a couple weeks. So from this year, I started hosting Tokyo Fashion Doll Convention in Japan. Can you believe I'm the chair? Yeah, it's kind of crazy, but the owner of Cafe Barbie, the Barbie dealer, Cafe Barbie, she retired last year, then uh, someone had to take over. You know, I was kind of hesitating to take over because I live in the US, but no one wanted to do it. So now I run Barbie Fan Club Japan and Tokyo Fashion Doll Convention. Literally, I was running around the whole time during convention. I had no moment to take any photos or any videos so i'm so sorry i cannot share those but i still wanted to show you what the convention doll look like and also what kind of convention gift we gave to all conventioners i will show you convention doll in another video because it's gonna be really long but this time i'm showing you all the convention gifts aren't you still excited yes right so please enjoy watching until the end so first of all oh, what I'm wearing right now. For Japan convention, we made souvenirs for the very first time. And it's also the logo for Barbie Fan Club Japan. I just love it so much. So it's not the gift for everyone, but it was just the souvenirs. So people who wanted to buy, uh, they could buy. So me and my friend Miffy designed together and she did great job. Like she did a lot of favors for me so this year the logo was pink cupcake when they first started japan convention it was supposed to be like barbie's birthday party that's why they started doing it in march and then this time i wanted to make it more original like birthday party for barbie you know that's why i wanted to make the logo like cupcake for barbie so here's a convention bag Ta-da! registration bag a simple pink even material and got huge cupcake logo i know there's no barbie logo but don't you still love it i was so glad people really love in this registration bag uh we gave everyone a uh, first of all the lanyard it also got logo tokyo fashion Doll convention 2022 that's my name atsusha sakamoto in Japanese and you see here's some icons so these are the ones for the batch so everyone got this the pink one the cupcake with high heel one it's the regular logo one cute pin in it when you participate workshop you get this the green one with purse on the top the blue one is for volunteer and the fashion show is purple with cute dress. I don't have it right now, but a uh, dress competition is orange color. Talking about dress competition, we always get one dress, one fashion pack, which is the winning dress from last year. We have dress competition every year. Some conventioners design and make Barbie size dress by their own and people vote. So this dress was the winner from last year. So this year we all got this. Very, very pretty, huh? I think that my silk stone wool will look really pretty in this. And then we gave everyone this. Another fashion pack. Spanish doll artist, Beatriz. She designed this dress and she made it in bulk. She picked this cutest dessert printed fabric for the dress. She actually showed me a couple different options and we decided together. Yeah, and I just love how it turned out. And she put pink apron and also kitchen mitten, like a donut plate and a cookbook. So this kitchen mitten, the plate and cookbook uh, got all assorted different colors. So everyone got different colors, which is very, very fun part too. Oh, this is just so cute all together. I almost don't want to open, you know. And not just the front, but on the back side, 
Look, she even put DIY paper bag. Oh my gosh. Now we gotta open it and make it. <laughs> Very cute. Well, she has Etsy store and also Instagram. Her Etsy store is by Dolly Dolls. And her Instagram account is mydollydolls.me. Please go check. Because she really got cute stuff. Thank you so much, BitRiz. I love all your work. You're just so talented. Actually, this year, BitRiz also made centerpiece doll. And I kind of want to show you that doll because she gave me one. When she first showed me that doll photo, I literally said, Oh my gosh, I want this girl. It's just so gorgeous. But I'm sad because I'm not sitting on the table this year. I was not having to see it during convention. I was just, you know, busy running around. But she was so sweet. So actually, she gave me one. Look at this beautiful girl. Yeah, so this girl was centerpiece though this year. My favorite part is definitely this huge bow. And actually, it's not just regular bow, but it's also the sleeve, like an arm cover for her gown. Ah, wow! Kawaii, kira kira, so kawaii. And she put this huge diamond here. Sweetheart cut this length. Huge earring. Swarovski crystal clutch. Very, very pretty. Now she got manicure done in pink color. So pretty! Ah, kawaii ne, kono ko, mecha kawaii. Thank you, Bit Liz. I love her so much. And next, there's another dress. It's made by Bonnie from the US. And she made hot pink one and also pastel pink. Well, you couldn't pick, but you know, surprise. When we packed, it was kind of simple, so I added pearl necklace here. Yeah, I made it. Dollplanet.com, Diana and Seth, well, they helped us a lot. They've been supporting us a lot. So they added this rerouting kit. She's so sweet that she put pink hair, actually. When I first asked her, I told her, like, whatever she could donate will be appreciated. You know, I never had the idea if she was putting the pink hair, but... I love it. So it's a rebooting kit. There's a needle in here. Isn't that awesome? And also the t-shirt, logo t-shirt for your mini. Yay! The t-shirt was made by Jaiken. Her Instagram is Jaiken Ad. I purchased from her a couple times in, so I trusted her quality. Yep. She did a great job. So people whoever got the souvenir shirt, they can match to their mini. And mama put this Barbie. Shitajiki. What do you call this in English? I don't know. It's like, you know, the plastic board. When you write, you put it under the paper. I have other stationery with this design, this with this graphic. So I'm very happy. Thank you, mama, for donating this. There's another thing I want to show you. So me and my friend Robin, we donated this. The 3D tumbler. It was made by 3D printer and we put the sticker and also we have oh yeah face mask I cannot believe when I came back here I'm uh, so very few people are wearing face masks in LA anymore <laughs> but uh, in Tokyo everyone literally like 100% of people were wearing face masks yeah we had two different colors, the pink and blue. I don't have the full kit anymore, but we also have the kit, DIY kit of vinyl vintage clutch. Thank you! It was Robin's design and prepared. It's like vintage Barbie's clutch. Hot pink with black heel. Very cute one. I already put double sided tape for people, so. They just needed to peel and put together. This is the one we made a workshop this year. The clear vinyl tote bag. Cute, huh? It's very simple and easy, but uh, actually the workshop was very fun. I was the instructor, can you believe? Yeah, I'm not the best teacher, but I still tried, tried hard. And yeah, I'm glad if people enjoyed it. It's a Barbie size. Oh my gosh, I literally waited for a month. So when Beatles sent us 
centerpiece though and a gift. Uh, she also sent me a gift. Azusa and Mini. Hope you love it. Of course I would love. She's be uh, I'd love to work with her again. Ah, kawaii! Yabai! She sent me this vintage Barbie tote bag. Ah, kawaii! And the one in my mini meal size. Hey, kawaii! We can match! Thank you, Bitlet! Oh my gosh, I love both. Oh, and another shopping bag on the back. Thank <laughs> you. I love it. Kawaii. So here are the gifts from Tokyo Fashion Dog Convention. You know, to prepare all of this. It was not easy. But many of my friends supported me. I literally couldn't make this happen without my friends' help. I wanna say thank you to everyone who's been supporting me and my team. We're still trying to send all the gifts for virtual conventioners so to me convention is not over yet until i send everything to everyone you know but i'm so ready to start working on for next year that yeah, i'm hosting next year too hopefully next year we can invite more guests internationally yeah this year was still hard to have people from different countries because of the restriction you know and i already have more fun ideas for the event thanks so much my video hope you have been successful bye